Good morning, evening, and afternoon, everybody. Check it out. We're playing Atarka Red in standard. Won the die roll. Have a uh, an opener here that could pass for good, so we'll keep it. Hope everybody out there is doing well today. You know I am getting my Atarka Red on. Oh, opponent has gone to six. Something our deck certainly can punish them for. So I think we can uh, fetch for a forest here. Or I, I always say forest. A mountain. Uh, do a Titan Strength, leave up a mountain. It's not the most effective use of mana, but I like it better than fetching like a basic forest to Atarka's Command this turn. Especially considering Atarka's Command uh, does considerably more damage the more creatures you have on the board if you're using the plus one plus one and reach uh, mode. Which I almost always do. Occasionally, I select your opponents can't gain life, and it deals three. It's very uh, relevant against a bunch of matchups. However, opponent has a horribly awry. Clash of Wills for one. <clears throat> okay, valuable information there. We know our opponent is on a control deck. He's either a blue-white control deck with, like, Narset uh, <laughs> and Ojitai, or a Esper flavor of control. So we'll find out more soon. Or uh, could be a... This card usually is played in Bant, uh, Megamorph, and just aggro white-green lists. So really uh, getting some conflicting information here. Phoenix, pretty good draw. One mana short of becoming immense off of one land. <laughs> um, or we would definitely be in the market for that. However, next turn, if he has no interaction for our Phoenix, we can do both the Tarkas Command and become immense. Be looking very good. Wow, much damage. This kills the opponent. Okay, Siege is nothing we need to concern ourselves with. Opponent thinks he's getting another draw step. He could have the Dispel up. We'll just delve everything here and kill the opponent. All right. Took game number one off of blue, white, uh, what have you. 
So we will go ahead and hit the boards, bring in our rending volleys, as well as uh, some green trampling threats to kind of blank the surge of righteousness and Erishan clerics we can guess we're going to face in game two. At any rate, we will see you back here for game number two.